Cardinals hosting the Reds. The Reds are plus 110 on the money line. The Cardinals are minus 130. The over-under is eight runs. The Reds getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 188, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. And the Cardinals laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 155, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two or more. Montas pitched against the Cardinals this year. Six innings, three runs, three earned. They lost 5-3. He struck out five. McCullis has not. He pitched against the Reds three times last year. Seven innings, three runs, three earned. They won 4-3. He struck out 10. Five at a third, five runs, five earned. They lost 7-1. He struck out two. Six innings, five runs, five earned. They lost 8-4. He struck out two. The weather is supposed to be 85 degrees with six mile an hour winds blowing in and a 1% chance of rain. Head-to-head, -head, the Cardinals are on a two-game winning streak. They are 6-4 and four against the Reds in their last 10. The road team's on a two-game winning streak. The road team is 6-4. and four. The underdog has won the last two games they've played against each other. The underdog is 6-4 and four on the money line, and the underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is 7-3. and three. There have been three one-run games in their last 10. The under is hitting their last four. The under is 7-3, and three, and the under at 8 is 4-3-3. Four, three, and three. four games went under, three games went over, and three games hit eight exactly. The last two games that they played against each other hit eight exactly, and both of those games were this season. The Reds are 1-4 and four in Montes' last five starts. They've lost his last three starts. The under has hit in his last five starts. Five innings pitched, 4.2 hits, 2.4 earned runs, five strikeouts, 2.2 walks, 0.4 home runs, but he did give up a home run in his last start, 83.8 pitches per game, and 20.5 pitches per inning. He really had one shitty outing where he threw 41 pitches per inning. He went one and a third and gave up four earned runs, and that's kind of what's elevating his pitches per inning. For the Cardinals, they are 3-2 and two in McCullough's last five starts. They've won his last two. The under is 4-1, and one, but the over hit in his last start. Six innings pitched, 4.2 hits, two earned runs, 4.4 strikeouts, 0.8 walks, 0.6 home runs, 84.2 pitches per game, and 13.5 pitches per inning. The Reds are 3-7 and seven in their last 10, 1-4 and four in their last 5. 11 runs, 16 runs, 14 runs, 7 runs. 4 runs and a loss, 11 runs and a win, 5 runs and a loss, and then 1 run. And a loss. And I'm curious to see if they're going to try to keep or deal De La Cruz at the deadline. Smart money, I understand for Reds fans, he's a fantastic talent and you want to keep him, but you could probably get a King's Ransom for him right now. The Cardinals are 6-4 and four in their last 10. They are 4-1 and one in their last 5. 13 runs, 8 runs, 7 runs, 8 runs. 9 runs and a win, 5 runs and a win, 4 runs and a win, and then 2 runs in a loss. I'm going to take... The Cardinals with the money line, I will take the Cardinals laying the runs, and I'm going under. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.